from midnight tonight, Perth and Peel will enter a three-day lockdown over the long weekend until midnight on Monday night. I know this is hard to take and I wish we didn't need to be doing this. Good fish! Good fish! And I wish we didn't need to be doing this. That is phenomenal. And I wish we didn't need to be doing this. Yeah, guys, welcome to a new episode. Quick little intro for this one. Perth's just gone back into lockdown now, as you can tell by the face mask that I got on. So what I've done, chucked my two dogs in the crate, picked up my younger brother. We've just filled up the D-Max and then hooked up the dory. So we've got the boat with us now, and then we're just gonna go away for three nights is the plan. So it's a long weekend, and there's an absolutely spectacular forecast from this weekend. It's got until midnight to get out of here before they lock it down, so that leaves us two hours. So we're gonna make the most of it, head up north, and just completely wing it. Next clip we're gonna see is us in the morning. We're not gonna film anything tonight. We're just gonna drive for a few hours, find somewhere to camp, start fresh tomorrow, and then make a good little series out of this one. So we'll see you then. So I know I said I'll see you in the morning in the next clip, but that's not gonna be the case tonight. So we've got almost an hour up the road, driving along, bang, clear as day, blown a tire. I immediately knew it was going to be the one on the left side of the trailer. Bit devastated about it because I could have avoided it by replacing this tire at the same time that I replaced the one on the right hand side. So I had that one blow on me about two months ago. I thought about replacing both tires but then I held off. I was like nah, this one's got heaps of life left in it. It looked good to me. Clearly wasn't in that healthy of condition. So even though there was heaps of tread and stuff on it, old age will get to them eventually. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> Can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing at midnight on Friday night on a long weekend. There we go. Right, on goes the spare. It's time for us to get back on the road and continue our journey and hopefully nothing else goes wrong. Alright guys, good morning. Without saying too much, let me show you why we made such an effort to get to where we are last night and why it was worth every little bit of effort because we have escaped the lockdown, we're free to do what we want for the weekend, we don't have to wear face masks and we've got this to wake up to for the next couple of days at least. All we did last night was just rolled out the swags, just like that, didn't do much else. And then I've left the boat, everything hooked up, packed away. It's the morning now, there's a few boats getting dropped in. So what we're gonna do is gonna drop my boat in the water and then I'm just gonna bring it in front of camp and just leave it anchored, moored up. And it can sit there for the next couple of days overnight while we just camp straight in front of it. And then hopefully I'll get a couple of little fishing sessions in and go find either a decent baldy or a dewy or anything of the like somewhere out there so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this episode uh it's going to be over the next two or three days i'm looking forward to it i'm just glad we're out of here and able to make the most of this fine weather so without saying any more let's get this boat in the water and that's done and then i can set up camp and just start enjoying myself from there there she sits in all her beauty windscreen free <laughs> boy good girl So it's actually about 10 a.m. in the morning right now. Because we got here so late last night, we're just taking our time and easing into it today. So we'll get the coffee going, we'll cook up a quick brekkie, give the dogs a bit more of a run around, and then we're gonna fang out and go chase some fish. See what we can come up with. So we won't be heading out there till about lunchtime. So the bite might be off, but we'll see. And um, if it's not any good, we'll probably come back in later and then try again tomorrow. So we're definitely gonna get some fish on this trip and some flies too, apparently. So it's actually like, probably 25 degrees right now, so it's quite hot. But you still gotta start your day right. Have a nice coffee in the morning. Nice good height to work with as well, with the cooker today. So they're just going to go on, close the lid on the Weber. Yeah, come on, drop a bit of, yeah. A few flame grilled sausages right there. Nice gourmet ones. I think they're good to go. So we're going to rip into these now. Then we'll go jump in the boat and start this adventure properly. 
We're not at Bunnings today, so I can pick where I want me onions to go. Well, maybe not the fanciest for breakfast, but she's gonna work. We'll get into that. Mmm. 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 We made that. Okay, you know what time it is? Up, up. Up, up. Elmira, up, up. Come on. Quick. You're right. Quick. Big jump. Good girl. All right, you guys are going to go in there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Yeah, quick jump in. Right, we're on the water now. We've got about a 10 kilometer drive out to where we're gonna go to fish. Perfect day today. Couldn't get any better than this. It's gonna be the same tomorrow, hopefully. Really, really good visibility in the water. I've got a bit of bait. Uh, I was throwing soft plastics and stuff last time I was here. They were getting hooked up, so we'll see what works for today. We're gonna bang out there now, full throttle. Can't really get any better, so off we go. reach where we're going to fish out of this reef here. I've just got my jigging rod set up first up and we're just going to drive out there pretty um, shallow. It's only five meters deep and we're just going to get in around some bummies. I've got a mark on here that I got smoked at last time I was here. Never got to see the fish but I'll get out there and I'll throw this around first for a little bit and then we'll see if anything's around depending on that and then I've got a bit of bait as well so we can drop bait rigs down too. Just hope to get onto a nice fish. It is lunchtime, but I'm feeling hopeful. There's a few boats out. Perfect day, not a whisper of wind. Glass off on the water, sun shining. Couldn't ask for anything better than what we got right now, except for to catch a fish. I'm just gonna do a wind on leader this time. Normally I just sort of snap swivel, and then about a meter of leader. I really, really don't wanna risk losing any good fish today. Sun's coming out nice and hot now, so I'm just gonna chuck a shirt on. We're just near a decent bommy. Just got a bait hanging over the side of the boat now, had an oster rig. We're sort of just drifting on the sand, see if anything sniffs it out. While I rig up these other couple of rods again, then we'll move in a bit closer and I'll start throwing plastics again and trying to find a fish on them. All right, first throw the plastic in the shallow here. Got a small fish on, don't know what it is. It can't be flash, rat. But it nailed the blackie, so that's a good sign. He can go back. Don't want him for anything. Let's see if we can find a better fish than that, but it's it's the right start. It's a fish. This plastic's getting absolutely nailed. I don't know. I don't know what's grabbing it. They can't be too flash because they're not inhaling it. But so yep. Oh. Yep, 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 Let's change the game plan. So I've been flicking this little jerk shad for a while now. And I've been getting plenty of interest from just common wrasse. Heaps of hits and bumps, um, but nothing big on it. So it's getting close to lunchtime now. And I don't want to leave the dogs in the ute for too long again, like I usually do. So what we've done is we've driven over to this mark I've got, which is a um, quite a nice lump. 
heap of reef structure beneath us right now. I've just, I've just dropped the anchor. The reason I've dropped the anchor and we're not drifting is just because it uh, comes under like a ledge that's about four or five meters deep. And I don't want to keep losing rigs drifting over this ledge. So if we can sit on the edge of it like we are now, I'm just hanging a plastic over on this one while I get ready. What we're going to do is just drop a couple of Paternoster rigs, go to bait, and then I'll chum up the water a little bit with some muleys here, hopefully bring some fish out, bring something good out, and see what we can come up with. It might just be a rasp, but it's decent. Is it a black ass? Is it a black ass? Is it a black ass? Oh, beautiful! Oh, yes! That is a hurter of a black ass too, in shallow. All right. So the bait method works at anchor, finally. So there you have it. There's our first keeper of a fish today. It's a nice break sea cod. He's probably about 40, 45 centimeters long, I reckon. So I'm pretty happy with that one. That's good. So he's going to stay in the SQ. We're taking him home. Going to drop the baits back down. We are at anchor right now on the edge of the bombing. It's finally brought in a decent fish. We really want it to be a bolly or something next up, but normally when you find one of these guys, you'll find more as well. So we'll keep looking, see what we can with. Oh, 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 good fish, good fish, good fish. This is gonna try so hard to reef me. It's, oh no, it's around the anchor rope. Oh, this is, no, 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 don't get me under. Don't get me under. Oh, it's got me on the reef. It's got me on the reef. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. This is good fish, good fish. Don't get me under. Don't get me under. Come on, come on. Get that anchor, uh, get that net ready. All right, here we are. We're on. This is a pinky, I think. There's some pinky. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh man, just as I was finishing up with that black ass, nothing's been happening for ages, but we anchored on the edge of this. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm so chuffed with that. That is phenomenal. <laughs> that's, that's a 60 something pinky there. That thing lit me up and it took me straight under the reef too. You can, my leader's just starting to fray there, 40 pound leader. I was bashing that thing to get out. That's why I was so hectic about it because we've actually anchored next to this bomb here deliberately to try to bring the fish out. And of course, that's always playing a risk if they can take you under there. But if you're not close to it, you're not gonna find them. But we got him, look at that thing. I'll get that out and give you guys a proper look now. Okay, there you go, guys. I'm just gonna check his size quickly. Yeah, so he's 61, 60 bang on, there you go, so after all that just sitting there, sorting out the brake sea cod, then that jigging rod just got lit up on the pattern also, and I've come up with this 60 centimetre pink snapper, nice dark pink colours, bright blue spots on him, awesome, very fat, healthy fish and he's going to be very tasty, perfect eating size. All right, guys, we're going to fang back in now. It's just gone 10 past one. We've been out for about three hours, so that means my dogs have been locked up in their crate, which is fine. They've got plenty of airflow, plenty of cover, but they will need to pee. We'll need to drink some water, so we've got about a 10-minute drive back in. We're not going to trawl anything, anything like that. It's calm as, so we'll just fang 25 knots, get in, sort them out, anchor the boat up. I might bring the boat back in tonight, but I'm probably just gonna leave it anchored in the water tonight and hope for the best. Anyway, so we got the black ass, got the pinky, good fish. That's me bagged out. Jamie doesn't even have a license on, so we couldn't, have, uh, we couldn't have actually kept any other fish anyway. So it worked out pretty good. So we'll go in now, get on with the rest of the day. <laughs>
since we came back in probably about two or three hours ago we've just been taking it real real easy that's why i haven't seen much since then but i'm pretty happy with that pinky in the brake seat cod that i caught today it was a very very slow day right up until those two came in back to back Unfortunately, I had to switch to bait to get them. I would have preferred to get them on plastics or jig, something a little bit more entertaining, but I was only getting rass on plastic. So that's just what it came down to, but I've got them, so I'm happy with that. We've been hanging out, just drinking beers and just chatting amongst each other. There's a fella camping over near us called Cam. Cam, if you see this on the, on the video, mate, give yourself a shout out in the comments, but it's good to have people come up to us that watch my videos and say g'day especially when we're out here camping so it's cool to see we're both doing the same thing it's what i want to do with this episode is make it more about fishing i think so tomorrow morning we're going to wake up nice and early and get on the water straight away the boat's already going to be in so be there ready to go hopefully it's still there what i'm going to do now though is i'm going to go down to the water i'll take you guys with me with the camera i'm going to dive in and have a rinse off that'll be my shower for the day then i'll get changed after that we've just prepped the fire so we're going to have a fire tonight as well Take it real easy. There's a bit of wind now. There wasn't any wind earlier. There's a bit now, but hopefully it backs off and stays away for tomorrow morning, which it should, according to the forecast. And then we'll have another pearl of a day and hopefully get some bigger and better fish yet again. Oh yeah, I forgot to point out how entertaining my younger brother Jimbo's looking right now as well. <laughs> I forgot that he was in that whole shot to be honest, but he was. So anyway, coming for a swim. Come on, let's go have a bath. We'll call it a bath, salt bath. Let's go. Come on. This is going to be pretty cold, but it's nice to rinse off at the end of a nice hot day. There's the dory sitting over there, right there. Still loving life, so that's where it's going to stay tonight, I hope. And then, um, yeah, it hasn't moved at all today at anchor, so I'll just check it again at sunset. Once I check it at sunset, make sure everything's sweet, then I'll just leave it for the morning and whatever happens to it, happens to it. One corn. Two corn. Right, so we've got some nice unshucked corns here straight off the stalk. Not picked by myself, but I guess you can just eat that lot. I didn't even know that. Look. If you didn't know any better, that'd be a pretty good snack, that one. If you notice a statue in any of my shots, <laughs> it looks like All right, guys, so we're just preparing dinner now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how funny. We're going to have uh, <coughs> roasted corn and potatoes. I don't know why he says blur, because they ain't getting <laughs> jack. Uh, we're just about to start prepping the steaks. There goes um, the I've got wrong to do the corn because that's a simple job. <laughs> <laughs> Hell funny, man. <laughs> Alright, use my finger. Bit of garlic in there. Wrap everything twice. Right. There's our buttery garlic corn. So we're cooking on the fire tonight, so we need this going. Might as well start it, eh? Yeah. Get this going. We're gonna chuck our corn and potatoes on here, and then just do the steak on the Weber. Right, potatoes are on. Jimbo's kicking back. All right, guys, I'm not going to film us eating dinner tonight. We've got the fire going, we've got the spuds on there. I already told you what we're cooking up, it's nothing fancy. So we're all chilling out. The dogs are exhausted. We've had a good day, but we're just going to relax now and just sort of savor the moment. So we'll say goodbye for tonight and then we'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. And we're going to head back out there for another fish and see if we can come up with a couple more to bring home and finish the trip on a high note. Oh, bit of smoke in that one. All right, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you in the morning.
Come on, you're a bit nervous, aren't you? Come on, look, look how nice the morning is, right? Look at that. And we have good news. The mighty Dory, she lives on. Alright guys, it's the morning now, I've got to talk a bit quiet because there's a few other people camping around us at the moment. Oh shit, there you go, someone gets a little bit extra knocker. <laughs> Pick a bit into there. Beautiful morning once again, even better today than yesterday. We've got this nice pastel sunrise coming through. Water's calm as, so all we're doing now is going to make a couple of coffees. We're not going to worry about brekkie or anything, sort the dogs out, put them away, and then we're racing straight out and getting back into the fishing. Yep, go mate. Good boy and good girl. See you in about three hours, okay? Alright guys, the moment's come, we're heading back out now. There's the Doz. Sitting pretty. See how cold the water is? Oh, it's not too bad actually. A little higher than I expected this morning. Let's go. All right, the water temp's actually not too bad. Oh, it's getting pretty deep though. <laughs> it's getting real deep and I've got a jacket on. Oh, jacket and a shirt. Probably both gonna get wet. Find out in a second. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm for sure getting wet. Oh, damn it. I'm just going to throw the camera up here for a second. <laughs> this is a waterproof jacket. I don't think that's what I meant by waterproof. Coming up. Oh, shit. Shame. Now <laughs> 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 you're getting tangled up. <laughs> what a knob. Okay, so I'll just get the boat started up, warm her up. So we're sitting fairly offshore now, well and truly offshore for the old tinny, but if you look around, it's a perfect day. Where we've just run through, there's quite a lot of um, swell and breakers, so we just had to shoot through the guts of it all. We got through all right. My map's to trace out on the plotter there, so we should be able to follow the same corridor back through, get through that passage. But what we're going to do right now is we're virtually not even drifting at all. I've just pulled up on pretty well sand, but it's heavy contours here, so it's a good mix. We're 19 metres deep. Oh, short straight away, there's a fish looking at that too. Who knows what's down there, but there's only one way to find out, so we'll see how we go. Yes! Oh, man, I literally... Oh, yes, it's a good fish. This is another pinky. I just called it. I said, hopefully, this comes across a nice jewel of pink. I've definitely got it. Oh, yes. This is a 40 or 50 something or other not huge not huge but it's good it's another pinky yeah boy we're on so oh. all right straight away so that's paid off another pinky he's in so we're up north at the moment past Lancelin so that means the pink snapper have only got to be 41 centimetres for us up here. There you go guys, first fish of the day. 47 centimetre pink snapper. Now this guy's got some pretty crazy colours on him. You can see he's got like patchy spots of bright pink and then darker red. Still got the bright blue spots. Healthy looking fish. 47 centimetres, perfect for eating. So happy with that one. Because we're only fishing on the one licence today as well. That means I can only keep one more fish after this. Well, that's all good. I'll take this any day of the week, so we'll get back in, get one more, then we'll call it a day. Right, Jamie's on. Gonna catch my last fish. I think it's another small pink. 
judging by it. It did give him a good run at the start. Now he's got... Bug. Oh, no, it's a skippy. Big skippy. Yeah, that's good. We can use that as bait. Just lift him in. All right, there you go. Happy days. Your first fish of the trip, mate. And your last. <laughs> Check out these conditions around us. It's bloody unheard of. All right, guys. I didn't film me bringing this one up because he's quite small. He wasn't putting up much of a fight. He's still a decent sized Braxy cod. That's what I've got there, black ass. So that's me bagged out for demersals. I would put this guy back, but he's unfortunately not going to release very well because he swallowed the hook quite deep and I had to sort of rip it out of his stomach to get it, even though I was using circle hooks too. So he's going to go on ice and then uh, we might go for a trawl and see if we can pick up some kings or mackies. I think Jamie's on for another skippy here. By the looks of it. If it is, it can go back. There's another black ass. There's another black ass. Bit smaller this one. Yep. I want to give this guy his best chance of survival, so I'm just going to release him at the boat. He's only hooked through the lip here. He's still a good size. Great sea cod. Keeper. I hope he goes. So he's not bothered by us. I hope he goes back there. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's my bag for the day. Black ass is about 40 long, pinky ears 48, 47, so not too bad. Not massive, neither of them, but we pretty much just doubled down on yesterday's bag. So I got a pinky yesterday that was just over 60, and then about a 45 black ass. So I got mum and dad yesterday, and then I came back with the niece and nephew today. We got them, so we're happy. Lots of fish for me to take home. So we're just going to head back in now, like I said, and then go sort everything out. Just enjoy everything for a couple more hours, and then we'll shoot back home down the highway and deal with the police roadblock and all that sort of jazz as well, which we will show to you guys. We'll secretly put the camera somewhere in the car and see how they go about dealing with letting us back into Perth. I think we'll be all sweet. Got to chuck the face masks on, do the righty, and then go lock ourselves in the house and enjoy the weather from inside. Okay guys, that's us from here. Camp's packed up. There's D Max, there's Dory. Everything's all sweet, so we've got our fish, we've strapped everything back in. This is the beauty of going camping with your boat. You can just throw everything in there instead of trying to load it onto the ute. So we're just gonna head on out of here now, and then we've got about a two hour drive until we're gonna reach to the police checkpoints. If you guys hang around for that, you'll get to see how we go about getting back into Perth. There's all this lockdown going on, and then once we get through there, we're going to finish up there for this episode and then I will see you guys in the next episode. So thanks heaps for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We had a good time fishing, camping, same as always, but it's never a dull time. So we'll see you soon. Right, we're coming into the big roadblock. Let's see if we get home and this fishing trip was worth it or not. Hey, hey, hey. Afternoon. You guys just headed home? Yeah, headed home. All right. All good. Go. All right, thank you. <laughs> Not easy, so we didn't have to prove anything with them. They decided straight through, which was good, which means the whole trip was worth the while. Everything went sweet, so we're almost home. Apart from that one tire I got to replace. It was a good trip, nice and easy, got some good fish, so. Happy day today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.